Back on the Shangri Show with my special guest today. A bit of glamour on the show, which makes a change. It's lumbered with me all the time, but it's nice to have a bit of uh, female company, especially when it's Mary Hopkin, looking as uh, fit and as well and as beautiful as ever, Mary. I might I hate to add. What? <laughs> I'm very pregnant, too. <laughs> 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 is it is it uh, is it the first one? Can no, I? No, the second. We we've got a little boy now, uh-huh. who's three. So you're hoping, perhaps, keeping your fingers crossed for a uh, little girl. Don't mind, you as don't long mind. as he's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> how does it? I mean, how do you feel uh, being um, in this business, which is, let's face it, it's, it's pretty frantic mm. uh, when you when you start getting busy. I mean, that like you've got a record in the charts now, in mm. our charts, and uh, <laughs> in the, the other chart, which we don't talk about. But it's, I mean, um, when you have to, I suppose. You know, it comes to a time when you get, uh, you must go out and do personal appearances, this sort of thing. I mean, at the moment, you're going up and down the, in the country visiting mm. radio stations yes. uh, like us. Mm. Um, I mean, when you've got a family, do you find this sort of, uh, you know, creates problems? <laughs> well, uh, this I is the first time I've been away. Sort of yeah, I don't, I don't like to do that. So I've I've already decided not to do it full time again. Mm-hmm. And um, all I'm prepared to do now is, is just to all the necessary things and, and keep keep the work done as much as possible. Right, but you but you personally don't like to, to sort of... obviously don't like to leave your... your oh, no, no. I, I, I don't want to get into that habit either. You know, it could, I could easily sort of get into doing that and sort of rushing off everywhere. Who's, who's uh, looking after your little boy? Man? Tony. <laughs> 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 Trying to write arrangements at the same time. <laughs> Tony, Tony is a pretty versatile guy, isn't he? He's, he's, uh, he's very clever. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> Record producer, father, goodness me. Um, let's get uh, on to those uh, before we play the new record. Would you Would you like uh, to, to say anything special about I'd like to quiz you about the record, because I, I made a comment the other day. I feel very strongly about this single. I think uh, we've just gotten over the song for Europe, mm. uh, and I know that uh, to get into the song for Europe, you have to write a new song. That's the whole idea of the thing, to promote new songwriting talent, mm. I presume. Um your song isn't a new song. It's a classic by Edith Piaf, a late yes. great Edith Piaf, yes. uh, a French singer of some not- notoriety, um, mm. who has a, a dedicated following. Um, you, you were saying to me earlier on, uh, before we, we actually spoke on the air, that uh, a lot of people had, had knocked you for, for recording an Edith Piaf song. Yes. Um, I thought, I, I think that's the sort of song that I would have liked to have seen uh, win, the, win the contest myself, although it's an old song. I think it's go. probably too good, <laughs> <laughs> quite honestly. I, I, I must say, I don't think the general standard is, is very high at all. Mm. And I, I really think that... You've got some strong views. Let's hear them. Come on. Not, not, you can say what you like about the years and something like this. Well, I, th- I think it's pretty rotten, because yeah. I, don't, I don't think people are trying to write decent songs anymore. They're just thinking of, um, you know, just ri- writing anything, that, the sort of instant sound. Mm. And, and they, they sort of forget about the quality. And there are very, very few of the songs do have any quality. You never actually went in for it, did you? Did the, I did, yes. With knock knock. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. It came second, and, that, and that's just about how I feel about that song too. I, I don't think it was, you know, very good musical quality. Looking back at uh, now, you 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 regret it, do you? Actually doing it. No, I, re- I don't really regret it, but I I wouldn't mind forgetting about it, <laughs> as long as I don't have to do material like that again. Yeah. I mean, I I've, yeah. I'm determined not to, in fact. Was it sort of out of your hands, maybe, the decision at the time? Yes, it was, really. I mean, originally, when I, the only reason I actually said I would do it is, is the fact that they told me, oh, you know, we'll make sure they're very good songs this year and they'll, they'll sort of be folky mm. and, and really good quality. And I said, well, if they are, then I'll do it. But obviously, you know, it, it didn't happen that way. The reason why I, why I, you know, brought this, the subject up in the first place, I had two guests very recently who both took part in the song for you, mm. uh, both of whom you'll know, I'm sure. Tammy Jones, who's a fellow... Oh, yes, uh, yes, she has uh, a lovely voice. Well, she comes mm. from the same part of the world as you do, too. That's right, uh, yes. Very strong feelings about Wales, too. She, she mm. uh, did a little Welsh monologue for, for our Welsh listeners. Oh, that's up lovely. Here on lovely. Um, and, and Frank <laughs> Ifield, the following week, mm. who uh, is a super guy, yeah, absolutely. I was n- knocked out because uh, kind of um, no matter you, but I, you know, I, I remember you and all those sort of things were, were around when I, uh, you know, when I was in my teens and right, I yes. thoroughly enjoyed talking to him because he's, he's seen the whole generation of Beatles and everything else. Mm, and his song, like quite a nice <coughs> song, his latest record, didn't get anywhere. Yeah. Uh, nor did Tammy's, mm. and they both kind of um, Frank. I think you know, uh, Tammy didn't say too much. Didn't go into too much. Uh, 
about the contest, but Frank certainly said mm. that he thought, you know, very similar view to yours. Mm. He thought the whole thing was a bit, you know, it was yeah. nice publicity. Well, but, there's so uh, many politics involved in it. Mm. I don't think it's a, a, a fair contest anyway. It's a, I mean, I, it, it's sort of been reduced to such a lower level now. I don't think it... I mean, I suppose you some don't people see, in enjoy other words, it. You don't, you don't see yourself entering another year of something Oh, I, I doubt it very much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you probably won't have to anyway if you go on churning out records like, uh, like this one. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's a nice cue to get into it, actually. Uh, would you like to introduce it, Mary? Yes, it's called If You Love Me. Shall I catch a shooting star? Shall I bring it where you are? If you want me to, I will. You can set me any task I'll do anything you ask If you'll only love me still If the sun should tumble from the sky If the sea should suddenly It does actually. I'm, I'm a sucker for, for a sort of uh, you know sentimental songs like mm. that. I love it. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. Knocked out when I first had it. I hope it's going to be a big hit. It's already in the in the national charts and it certainly is doing pretty well on Radio Tees. I'll tell you where it is. Looking down my chart here, it's uh, a new entry straight in at 32. So there you are. Oh, that's a bit, great. A bit higher on the other chart. <laughs> you see, we're optimists on this station. <laughs> you must be. Yes. <laughs> But um, it's, it's really almost, um, you, you're almost sounding, if, I know you're going to hate me for saying this, but you're almost sounding uh, like, you know, those were the days. It's, mm. it's, a, it's a continental song, right? Yeah, right. I think that's it. It's, uh, it's those were the days which was a kind of Russian type of... Yes, that's right. ...ballad, wasn't it? Mm. Well, I, I don't anyway. mind that. That's OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ones in between I object to. <laughs> So what what songs were, I mean, um, what sort of have you got a follow up to this in mind? Assuming it's going to be a, a massive hit. Yes, th well, we've we've got about two two or three songs in mind. Um, they're by a beautiful couple of girls from uh, called the McGarrigals. Yes. And they're Canadian, and they write really incredible songs. I think their album's due out here soon. 
and we <clears throat> we've chosen about two tracks from that that we you know might be singles. So this that's a sort of folky country thing. Is this off an, is this from an album this, this song? Yes. So you've yeah. got you've got yeah. an album out now or coming out? Uh, well, it's sort of hanging around waiting. We did it about four months ago. We would probably change half of it now. <laughs> <coughs> so we've got that to look forward to, mm. anyway. <laughs> Great. What sort of, I mean, um, do you think it's all, it's all down to uh, uh, the songwriters in this day and age? I, mean, I think so. Too? I think, yeah, I think... I was talking to this, you know, I, was, I mentioned this to Frank Ifield when he was in here, and I asked him, and he said, oh, you know, we just wait till we, we, we get new material or we come across something that's been on the shelves and mm. go through it all the mm. time with the new songs. Mm. And just wait till there's one we like. Is this yes. what you do? Do you leave that all to Tony? Or, uh, oh, no, no, we, we, we just listen all the time. It's, it's basically just we enjoy listening to albums and um, a friend of ours in Philadelphia who's a DJ in Philadelphia sends yeah. us material every so often he's he's really he really knows what i like and the mcgarrigal album was the, the latest thing he sent over i detect so. a slight hint of bias towards uh, america do you like america oh yes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well prefer? there's lots of good music i, th I yeah. think canada's pretty good too because uh the last two albums we've been listening to are uh, the mcgarrigals and um bruce coburn i don't know if you've heard him he, he writes really beautiful songs. Yeah. But again, it's that sort of folky thing. Have you done the American I like. bit? I mean, have you been, uh, presumably when the, the, the sort of the first record was a, a, a hit, you went over there, did you? And yes. Did the TV show? Yeah, I did all that, yes. <laughs> what, what did you think? <clears throat> was it all very frightening at the time? I thought it must no, be. it was just exciting at the time. I mean, everything was a new experience then. So I enjoyed everything. <laughs> Would you like to live in the States, do you think? I don't think so, unless it was really out in the desert somewhere. Where, do you, where are you living at the moment? Are you living in, in London? No, we've just moved out of London. We, we live around Henley now, which is uh, oh, nice. more country. Sort of by the yeah. river and, and nice. Yes, it's lovely. Do you, do you get homesick for Wales or not? No, we, we get back there fairly often. We've got a cottage down there, and um, I go back to see my parents now and then. Wales is kind of a very expensive place to live at the moment, isn't it? Because everybody's with, with the motorway. When the motorway opens mm. up... Everybody suddenly bought all, all the. I heard read in the papers all the villagers were complaining because they, they, their own children couldn't afford to buy houses anymore because all these cottages have gone up to fantastic. Right, I think that's fair enough, really. Yeah. Prices. Do you sort of re mm. retreat there at the weekends? And, and, uh, yes. Well, we're still getting it together. Um, it's an old market garden, so um, we've got to find somebody who who wants to work the land. This is a shame to neglect it. <laughs> so you seem very, very, very happy and contented at the moment. Oh yes, I am. Yes. Sort of, uh, yeah. <laughs> any amb ambitions, well, uh, you know, that you've got? It's probably because I haven't got any that I'm contented. You know, I'm not, definitely not ambitious in this business anymore. You know, it's just I'll do whatever I want to do and take things as they come. You're sort of happy to, to do the occasional song, and if it's a hit, yes. well, it's a hit. And, I really uh, don't want to get involved in, in the business, you know, full time again. Well, of course you are. That's a bit of an anti-statement, really, because you are involved in it. You're no, here promoting the no, record. No, but I'm not. You see, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, tense or, or worried about it. It doesn't really matter to me personally. It won't affect my happiness yeah. whether it's a hit or not. But it would be, be lovely. <laughs> I mean, if it is. Right, all the same. But it's not going to kill I'd me if it isn't. I'd like to see it uh, be a big hit, and I'd also like to see you perhaps record some more Edith Piaf songs. Mm. Oh, I'd like to. Yes. Anyway, Barry, thanks very much for coming in and talking to us. And uh, we'll see you after the one o'clock news. Thanks. This is PR Employment News. If you have